Hey everyone, so today in this video I am going to explain about one productivity tool uh, that is provided by GitHub. So if you happen to have projects on GitHub repository and you do frequent changes on that one, so you are going to love this feature. So I found this very interesting uh, that is by GitHub. So the name is github.dev. So this is, uh, what is this? This is a web based editor. So web based editor means if you are using VS code, VS code that is uh, IDE provided by Microsoft for the coding, uh, day to day coding. So that VS code is going to be available on the, uh, on the URL itself online. You don't have to set up, download anything on the uh, your local desktop. If you want to feel that experience on the projects that are on GitHub, you can get that feel on the uh, URL GitHub platform itself. How we do it? So let's see. So github.dev, this is the newly added feature, which is uh, which is still in uh, beta preview. So this uh, there can be some here and there things not working or properly. You can provide the feedback in here. So this is beta preview only. So what is this about the dev editor? So it editor introduces a lightweight editing experience that runs entirely in your browser that I just told. So this is something uh, this is this is very important like this is free for everyone on the github.com. Okay, so this provides many of the benefits of the VS code such as search syntax highlighting source control view, you can also use settings sync to share your own vs code settings with the editor for more information we can refer to this one extensions some of the extensions can also be installed so how we open this one these are the steps uh screenshots you will see this one so i'll show you this in the demo so i go through the documentation when we have things handy so you see i have this repository in place right so what i am going to do let's see i open this repository in here resilience 4j so i have this kind of structure available in here right so if i go registration service here i am so this is also a uh, recent addition this view when i open any folder any project so this is the experience that i get navigation is pretty easy now right so from in here itself now coming to the uh, that uh, topic that we have so if you go to src uh, main in here java i am trying to open any java file that is there registration service application if you see this and come to this right side pen button in here so if i have this edit this file option right so if i click on the drop down i see edit in place github dev and github desktop so i'll show you this edit in place so if i click edit in a place or i just click e so if i just type e in here it will open the in place editor so in this only if i want to edit anything i can make the edit and that will be available in this branch directly here right so there is uh, uh, in this branch whatever branch i have opened it uh, that will be uh, available instantly so let's say cancel changes i don't want to do this one so what is the second thing is github.dev so i can click on this one or i can just press on the dot button so let's say i click on this one the magic is going to happen it is going to set up the vs code for me on the spot you see if you have seen the vs code in your local desktop you might be familiar with this experience like this is the explorer this is the search this is the source control if I make any changes this is the run and debug option these are the extensions that are there and this is a remote explorer and this is github pull request option another thing is things are there so registration service is there so if I want to make any changes in here test changes and the syntax is also highlighted for, for, for the Java right so if I make any changes to so that change will be available in here if I go in here so that version control github version control experience like if I make any changes I should be able to make the MR I should be able to commit that every 
thing that is available in here whatever experience i need from the vs code so commit and post i can make the commit in here i can create the pull request whatever i need one more interesting thing is like i can i can search anything uh, the same way uh, i do on vs code i can search anything in here green learner so author author so text it is going to search all of the things that are in this repository only uh, run and debug is the option continue working on this extension is disabled that is that is what i told this is light bit so some of the features are disabled for the intellij ide if i come to extensions part here so some of the extensions are available like markdown i can use it python i can install it uh, and this will be available in here but if i search for java unfortunately uh, i have seen that java as an extension is not available uh, the java extension is not available in visual studio code for web so you can see uh, why it is not available and all that details maybe in future it will be available for now python and all that is available so now it's up to you or up to me how can i want to explore it but this this is pretty cool feature that i i, I found it very interesting so apart from github.dev there is one more tooling provided by github that is code spaces code spaces is like what it gives us virtual environment in ide in uh, web itself so in whenever so let's see the differences about that code spaces and github.dev so both github dev and github code spaces allow you to edit your code straight from your repository however both have slightly different benefits depending on your use case so see this is the factor that is cost github.dev is free for everyone github code spaces comes with the free monthly quota availability this is available to everyone free of cost code space is also available to everyone startup github.dev opens up instantly with the key press and you can start using it right away without having to wait for additional configuration or installation when you but with the case of code spaces when you create or resume a code space the code space is assigned a vm virtual machine and a container is configured based on the contents of dev container.json so this is the setting that is there this setup may take few minutes to create the environment for more information refer this one so obviously it is going to give us a container runtime environment on all that so it will take couple of minutes to uh, get start with those things right compute there is no associated compute in case of github.dev code spaces comes with the compute because there is a vm and all that involved terminal access no terminal access on github dev code spaces it comes with the terminal access extension as we saw we can install only subset of extension in case of github.dev github code spaces most of the extensions are available in the visual studio code market space can be installed on with code spaces okay continue working on the code spaces and all those things uh, uh, you can uh, these things are there these documents that i'm going to uh, add in the description box go ahead and check out more around this one and uh, subscribe to the channel for more technical software engineering videos and productivity tools for regular update that makes our developer life easy so let me know how you found this video uh, if, whether it is useful or not and how you are using this tool so i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye